Hi, I'm Angie Christensen of Simply Divine Eating, and today I want to talk to you about good, better, and best options with nuts. Nuts are one of those foods that was kind of vilified a decade or two ago because they were full of fat, and heaven forbid that we eat fat. <laughs> but as science has proven and as nature has told us all along, fat is absolutely critical for our health. It's not something that we want to avoid, but it's very, 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 very important that that fat is in the right form. And I teach a very extended class on fats to help you understand all the intricacies of that so that you know how to do that in all your different cooking and in all your different shopping so that you're eating fat that really builds the cells and your neurological system and all of those things that are supported by healthy fats. Well now of course we know that nuts are full of good fats. We're finally starting to get that public acknowledgement from science that there's such a thing. There are good fats. But here's the problem, and this is such a problem with nuts. Heat changes fat. Fats are structured in different chemical shapes based on whether they're saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated. And those are affected differently by heat. And in nuts, we have a lot of polyunsaturated fats. And polyunsaturated fats are the ones that are destroyed, mutated the most by heat. And when you think about how we normally buy nuts, you know, we normally get nuts in these bags or in the little, the little containers that we pop the lids and we're munching nuts. But if you've ever turned it around to learn a little bit about what you're eating, you're gonna learn a couple of things. One is those nuts have been heated and because you're purchasing them already made, you've had absolutely no control over what level of heat has been added. And when heat is added to a fat, including in a nut, the fat form is going to mutate. And so when that fat goes into your body in a mutated form, it no longer fits correctly into the places to do the job it needs to in your body. And so it actually becomes carcinogenic, it actually becomes disease promoting, it actually becomes very harmful instead of helpful because now we've got this mutant fat going around in our body. That's what a trans fat is. But unfortunately trans fats are only one of the mutations and in our food there's so many others that the labels are not telling us anything about. But heat plus fat if it's a polyunsaturated fat is going to equal damage both to the fat itself and then to your body when you eat it. So buying nuts that have already been heated is problematic. These will no longer be in their health promoting form. And then there's the additives. You know, I went to the grocery store to do a little investigating and I had to buy some of these just literally to check and to be able to show you what they sneak in. You know, your doctor says, go home and eat nuts, they're good for you. And he doesn't say, read the back and make sure you're not eating anything but nuts because here are some of the things you're eating. Not only have they heated these nuts so that the fats have mutated, but now they're adding in on top of it another mutated fat to roast these in. So they're usually taking vegetable oil just because vegetable oil is the cheapest form of fat. But vegetable oil cannot maintain its chemical structure outside of the vegetable. It just can't. It's not biologically possible because as soon as it's removed from its original source, it's subjected to heat, light, and oxygen and it changed shape. It becomes a disease promoting shape instead of a health promoting shape. So they've taken these nuts, they've heated them, and then they've added more disease promoting fats along with a lot of other things. In this one, this is some honey glazed almonds. Honey in the loosest sense of the word because we have almonds and then the second ingredient is sugar. That's a processed refined sugar. Then tapioca syrup, that's another processed refined sugar. Then sugar cane syrup, that's another processed refined sugar. Then salt and then canola oil, there's your mutant fat. Then dehydrated honey, so that's not honey that's got any resemblance to the good stuff that's going to help your body. Soy lecithin, which is a genetically modified preservative, and rosemary extract and citric acid. That is not going to build your health in any way, shape, or form. The fats have been ruined and then it's been coated in junk. In this case, what do we have? We have almonds and then the second ingredient is vegetable oil. 
We've talked about that. That's a mutated disease promoting fat just because of its shape. Then we have salt, corn maltodextrin, so there's another genetically modified food. Natural hickory smoke flavor, yeast, which when they start playing with that in the ingredient list can be MSG. Hydrolyzed corn and soy protein, that's not anything that your body is going to want and other natural flavors. So once again, damaged nuts coated in junk. So when we want to eat nuts to build our health and to enjoy because they're delicious, this is not the way we want to go. Try very hard to buy nuts that have not been heated and have not been coated. And you'll take a huge step forward in your health. So the next step up is to buy raw nuts. And this is becoming more common and easier as science is starting to recognize and document that this is an issue. But there again, we don't have to wait for science. Nature makes things in the form that you need already. If you simply eat foods in the form nature creates, you're automatically going to build your health and science will catch up and defend that eventually. But these are some raw almonds that I got from Costco. Now raw almonds are a bit of a misnomer because it's a long, complicated legal story with that's one of those crazy legal stories that really has no grounding whatsoever. But almonds are now required to be pasteurized unless you buy them directly from the grower. So these have been pasteurized. They're not 100% raw. But they're still better than this. They aren't going to be unheated to the degree that these are. And these you can buy just about anywhere. Another option is just to go to your local health food store and there's likely a bulk section with every kind of nut you can imagine. And then usually they're raw and they're organic. And then you can pick out whatever amount of whatever nut you want and you can bring it home in a form that's completely unmutated. These haven't been heated, they haven't been processed, they haven't been pasteurized unless they're almonds. Um, and you've got something that's going to help your health much more. Now, this is your better option. So not something we want to do. Buying raw nuts is a better option. But there's a third option and that's our best option. And that is because nuts are a seed. And we've talked about this in some of our other videos. But just as a re quick recap, anything that's in a seed form has a coating of things to defend and protect that seed. And we call them anti-nutrients because they're beneficial for the seed but they're harmful for us. And when we eat these in this form, those anti-nutrients keep most of the nutrition bound in the seed and they can even rob nutrition from out of your body as they go through. So even though the label is going to tell you this has an amazing amount of B vitamins and zinc and protein and all of these things in it, your body's not going to get it because it's being held by these anti-nutrients so that this seed can be planted and can grow and it keeps that nutrition from getting to your body. And so your best option is to soak and sprout your nuts because then you're mimicking nature. Just like if you planted a seed, you're providing the heat and the warmth and the moisture that that seed starts to sprout and open. And when it does that, the anti-nutrients let go of all of the nutrition that they have bound. So it's now bioavailable for your body. And so you can take your nuts and you can soak and sprout them and then just stick them on a dehydrator sheet and get back to that wonderful crunchy texture that we like, that we love, that we're used to. But now all the nutrition in the nut is bioavailable to us. And so that's our best option. If you want more information on soaking and sprouting of nuts and grains and all of the different seeds and things, that's contained in my online course. We go into that in great detail so that you can actually get the nutrition out of your food. You don't want to work so hard to buy great food and then not actually be absorbing any of it. That's quite a waste and quite a loss. And so learning how to soak and sprout our seeds and our grains is a great skill. And you can learn lots more about that in my online course if you would like to go there. But here we take you and you can see how to take even just one step to improve your family's nutrition as you enjoy nuts. Especially at the holiday time, we love to be eating nuts and they're one of those seasonal items and they really are something that can be tremendously healthy for our body if we just do it in the right way. So avoid the nuts that have been pre-processed, pre-heated, pre-coated, pre-flavored and instead move to raw whole nuts and then if you want to take another step in a great direction, you can start soaking those 
and then we have recipes for you and how you can do the flavoring yourself so that you can have those delicious flavored nuts to enjoy in your home and get all of the nutrition. So I hope you enjoy that. Good, better, best. Take one step in the right direction and you will see your and your family's health improve. We'll see you on the next video.